Hi there, Nathan Patrick Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to take you through using the new Power BI PDF connector that became available in preview as of the September 2018 update to Power BI. So this demo is going to be really short and sweet. I'm going to just do a very basic PDF here. And so what I've got is a PDF that has the generic product IDs for drugs for medications and um, I'm just going to pull in the first couple of pages here. The PDF for this example is very nicely formatted so I'm not going to be doing a lot of work in Power Query to clean up the PDF. I'm going to do this as two parts. This video as an intro and then a second one that will be a bit more advanced and that one will contain how to go through this if the PDF is a little bit dirty which is usually the case. So. So the layout here is a name, a code that identifies the actual product or, or drug, and the medication. It's a hierarchy, so I'm only pulling in the high-level information, a match level, and then a count. What is interesting about this particular PDF is it does have an embedded legend, and uh, I'll show you how to parse that out as part of the PDF connection. So let's head over to Power BI here. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the file menu, options and settings, go into options and make sure that under preview features, the get data from PDF files is checked. If you don't even see that option, then you don't have the latest version of Power BI, download that first. If it's unchecked, check it, click OK. You'll get a message saying that you need to restart Power BI for that feature to become active. So restart Power BI and then you can pick up here. So we're going to go to get data. And in the Get Data window, we'll go to File and choose PDF, and the beta is in parentheses there. We'll get a warning saying that this is a preview connector, so it may not function the way that we would expect it to function. That's okay. For this demo, works fine. I'm going to choose my PDF file and uh, go through here some of the things that I've seen in doing very clean PDFs and then some ones that I would consider not well formatted a little bit dirtier. So the connector will try to determine any tables, structured tables that sit inside that PDF. In my case, I have the table that you saw before that has the name and the codes, but there's a second table on each page that contains the legend that tells me how many digits pertain to each portion of that particular code. I'm not interested in importing those, so I'm going to leave those out. An alternative way of doing this is if I scroll to the bottom here, halfway, a little more than halfway through, I can also import the entire page. And the way that I've noticed the PDF connector will work is that it will create a row for each line of data that exists in the PDF, and then it will do its best to break up those lines into columns that it thinks make sense. It's hit or miss. Sometimes it parses them correctly. Other times it'll get the columns into the wrong uh, fields. And if I were to scroll through a number of these, uh, you would see possibly here on page two, if I go through enough of them here, uh, we can see where there's parts where it doesn't exactly parse it down correctly. Uh, so here's one on page six where the name is in the wrong column. So we'd have to deal with that if we were going to do the page method. I'm only interested in pulling in the first four pages. So I'm going to hold down the control key and select just the first entry of each page because I know that second entry is the legend. Okay, and I really only want the two digit codes, not the four digit codes, so we'll see how to parse those out. I'm not going to load the data right now. I'm going to go and click the edit button. So we go to the to Power Query and do just some slight transformation of that data. So I get a, a query for each table that I selected in the PDF. All right, first thing I notice in this set is that it changed the code to a numeric, and it's actually not a numeric because it has leading zeros on it. So I need to go through each page here and change the type to, uh, actually, I'm not going to change it. It did it automatically over here. So let's just remove the change type and change it back to a, a string or a text field. So we're going to go through each table uh, here, query, and remove those. All right, so now that leading zero on that first page is here. Uh, this is text. These are actually numbers, but I'm not going to change them right now. I'm going to do it when I append all of them together. The rest of the data looks good. So let's do the append. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select all of the queries and then go to append queries and choose append queries as new. 
and then I'm going to change my radio button selection to three or more tables delete the table that's already there select them all and move them over there in order and click OK now is where I'm going to go and change the count since they're all together on one table and I'll make it a whole number the count really isn't a count so I'm going to change this to ID that's that's actually what that represents as an ID number uh, to, to represent the entry within the data set and then I'm going to move that to the beginning just for the sake of, of uh, understanding the layout all right so ID name the code looks good with the leading zeros and uh, two digit but there's four digit items in here that I don't want so we're gonna hit our drop down remove the four digit items and it gets added as a filter and now I've just got the two digit items in my data set leading zeros everything else looks good so let's go ahead and I'm gonna rename this now that I have it I'm gonna call it um, we'll call it two digit uh, drugs just to keep it simple and then we'll go ahead and close and apply that data set let it reprocess the changes and then we'll just do a very basic table just to see what it looks like uh, once the data is imported uh, I don't want to get anything too fancy with it I want to keep it uh, simple and short here just to show you how it works all right so here's the two digit drugs I'm going to ignore the other tables that I have in here so we'll pull in the ID we'll pull in the name then we'll pull in the code and then the um, the matching digits although that's not important since they're all two in this particular set uh, and so yeah there we have it the fully imported data from the PDF file that we had before uh, so a second portion to this video what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull in the t the four digit codes and link the two and four digit codes together so we can see a little bit of the hierarchy and then notice the ID is not an aggregate so we'll turn aggregation off there all right very easy very quick way of pulling in a PDF that is already well formatted uh, stay tuned for a second video where I'm going to go through pulling in a PDF that is a little bit more difficult uh, to pull in and one that isn't formatted as cleanly as this one is. As usual, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, drop a like if you like the content, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.